which leads us to Tomasa Ciampa and Braun Breaker versus the Grizzled Young Veterans. Ciampa comes out first, and he's got his big, heavy, big, giant, heavy robe hanging over him. And he comes out, and I mentioned uh, we, like the first episode of NXT 2.0 we watched about how we knew uh, being tall was m- even more important than it had been before. And Imperium, there's nothing they could do to get taller. They could get more shredded, and so they had super abs. When I saw Ciampa come out on this stage, and he's always been shredded, so help me God, I thought he was wearing like a giant Gonzalez bodysuit with abs painted on. But no, that's his actual frame. He is jacked. So the match, Ciampa's awesome. The Grizzled Young Veterans are a fine little mid-card heel team. Braun is a stud. He still gets lost here and there. Bro. But... I've been raving about this guy for 24 hours now. Yeah. He is he is the main reason to watch his show right now. And he's he's certainly not ready to go up to the main roster or anything like that, but I mean, I watched this match and I had I had three thoughts. Number 1, this fucking guy is awesome. Number 2, this guy will main event a WrestleMania. And number three, I am totally fine with this guy becoming NXT champion next week. Mm-hmm. He's explosive, and he's charismatic, and he's athletic, and he ticks every box that they've got. Uh-huh. I mean, and we've mentioned it a million times, the name is stupid. I don't know why he's not, you know, Braun. He could be He could be Dude, Rex Steiner. Rex Steiner was the best name ever. Bronson Steiner. The, that also worked. Braun Steiner. Bronson Rex Steiner. <laughs> Any of these fucking names are better than Braun Breaker. He goes out there in Rick's outfit. He does Rick's spots. Yes. He does the Catch the Dune Power Slam out of midair. He yep. did the Scott Steiner Steiner recliner. He does the Steiner line. The fans bark for the fucking guy. <laughs> it's like, what in the fuck? Why can we not mention that he's a goddamn fucking Steiner? But you can't. But you watch him, and he did the sweetest looking leapfrog, mm. and he runs the ropes. I mean, he's not like a, I wouldn't classify him as like a great rope runner, but he runs the ropes fine, and he runs them in a, in a very athletic way. He is very athletic. Where very like yes. everything you see about the guy, I'm right now I'm, I'm very impressed with him, but everything you see, it's like, He's going to get a little better, and he's going to be fucking even more impressive than he is right now. And it is exactly like you can say whatever you want about NXT 2.0, but Vince's deal is I want guys that can main event WrestleMania. And if th- this guy, this guy, you can go back through every person that I thought was a can't miss, and I thought there were a lot of them, okay? A great example would be Sami Zayn. Do you remember how over Sami Zayn was as a babyface? I do. He was so over, and I thought, this guy can appeal to an audience that they're not appealing to right now. And of course, they missed on him, swing and a miss. But when you really think about it, as great as Sammy was and as awesome as he was, if you really think about it, and you, you think like Vince, you can see why he failed. And you can see why... You can go through the list of all of the guys we thought were can't miss. But if you think like a crazy old 76-year-old man who's been booking WWE since the uh, 80s, it's patently obvious why this guy failed, 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 this guy failed. Bro, I look at Braun Breaker. You look at him through Vince McMahon's eyes, and how does this guy fail? How? Unless he totally fucks something up. He works exactly like they want. He looks exactly how they want them to look. Mm -hmm. He carries himself exactly how they want their stars to carry themselves. I mean, he's everything that they want in a WrestleMania main eventer. And I think he's great. So the story of the match was they eventually got the heat on Ciampa. But in storyline, Braun Breaker's a rookie. And so he is uh, vulnerable to the Grizzled Young Veterans' diabolical fiendish tactics. So whenever Ciampa t- goes to tag out to Braun Breaker, he's being distracted. They go attack Braun, and he kicks their ass, but he's not there to make the tag. And after the second or third time, he kicks the guy's ass and then jumps back up, and now he's ready to tag in, and Ciampa is still there. And Ciampa is hot at this guy for leaving him hanging so often. And he stares at him. It's a, it honestly is a Buddy Wayne moment. He stares at him, he stares at him, and finally raises that hand up high and tags him as hard as he can. And the crowd is 
hushed. And this is a pretty hot crowd for being not very big, but they're into their NXT show. And when they saw Ciampa tag this guy really hard, they didn't know what was going to happen next. And they were worried. <laughs> they were concerned. And they had to pay attention. So Braun's insulted. And he gets in the ring and has a stare down. And the big payoff is Braun rears back for a clothesline. Ciampa ducks. And Braun throws the clothesline and hits whichever Grizzly Young veteran is behind him. So they don't... Was he trying to hit Ciampa? Was he trying to make the save? We don't know. Breaker kicks this dude's ass, beats the fuck out of him, pins him with the press into the power slam. God, what an awesome move. <laughs> He's just so fucking great. But I will say he needs to do some other finishes as well because you're he not going to be able to do that to you, Odyssey Jones. Yeah, you're going to be in with a lot of big dudes. Yes. So uh, maybe get, use that recliner more. Get that submission in there too. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, yeah, he's he's a stud, man. You, 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 guys like this don't come around every day. And so the final shot is uh, Ciampa, as much as he did not like this guy, was also very impressed by the comeback he made and the victory he got. And Ciampa is left standing in the aisle, cradling his belt like a baby, looking back over his shoulder at Braun, and finally returns for the big stare down, setting up the title match next week. This was by Light Years. The best episode of NXT 2.0 I've seen. You know, you say guys like this don't come along every year, and uh, you got to really think back to the last guy that came around that had the potential of Braun Breaker. Because, you know, you think back to, and I'm talking strictly guys that came out of the WWE's developmental system. You know, maybe they spent three months or five months somewhere, but not indie guys, like guys created in their system. And so you think Roman Reigns. But, like, this guy is way better than Roman Reigns was in his first in FCW? three months. Yeah, yeah. Not even, not even close. Yeah. And John Cena, like the early days of John Cena, I mean, he had a lot of potential, but, I mean, he was nowhere near where Braun Breaker was three weeks in. And Braun Breaker has not been there for, like, four years and just now gone on TV. No, he was in the he, NFL last year. He is very, very new. Yes. I mean, you know, I'm sure somebody could bring up a better example or something, but... I mean, I got to go back to, like, Kurt Angle, where you had Kurt Angle, and, like, three weeks into his career, he was fucking awesome. But, I mean, all of these other guys you think of that were created in, like, literally created in their system. Batista. Braun Breaker, way better than Batista. Oh, Miles. Three, four weeks in. Who else Who else was a big star you, that came out of there? You have to go back to Brock. Brock was more potential. Brock, yeah. Well, but, Brock had more potential, but also I don't think that three months, like the first three weeks that Brock was on television, yeah. he was not as good as this guy. I mean, this guy's promos, they're not like great promos or anything like that, but he is perfectly comfortable being Braun Breaker on the mic. Oh, you yeah. could not say that about Brock Lesnar. No. So this guy is, uh, you heard it here first. He's going to make it. That's what I think. Yes, Bronson Rex Steiner, his, uh, he was released by the Baltimore Ravens in August of 2020. So he has been a, and I, I don't know how long after he tried to get another football job, but he has been a pro full-time professional wrestler now for, at the most, 14 months. Yeah. Yeah. This person mentions Bianca. I'd have to go back and watch Bianca three weeks in. I don't think Bianca three weeks in was as good as Braun Breaker is three weeks into his television debut, but I'd have to go back and look. So anyway, that was NXT, and yes, I, I don't know if I'd call it a great show, but... Uh, by their standards? Well, I mean, by their standards, sure. I, what it is now is, if, if the show continues to be like this, I don't have a problem watching it. Sure. It's not great. It's not horrible. There's some good stuff. There's some bad stuff. And it's just fine. Like, the show's fine. It doesn't offend me. It, it, it's a fine show. It is, it is doing what they want it to do. I am not surprised that the show is doing barely over 600,000 viewers and a .14. That doesn't surprise me. But, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I am, believe it or not, a diehard wrestling fan. And uh, this show is enough for me to be satisfied for uh, two hours every Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had no problem with the show. It was fine. Another best show I ever saw. Lord knows it was not the worst show I ever saw. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Neither. We saw a much worse one one week ago. Yes. And the week before that was even yes. worse. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets leg <laughs> This was 10 and 8 21. Clothesline. Pillman punches back and forth. 
How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. What's happening? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.